I'm Josh with Skid Pro. Today we're going to take a look at our premier skid steer snowblower. Well, where do we start when we look at a piece of equipment and evaluate the quality? I think a great place to start is the weight. The weight on this blower is 975 pounds on our 72 inch model. This is actually an 84. A lot of blowers out there are 700 pounds and less. Well, where does that extra weight come from on ours? From the heavier auger to the beefier fan all the way up to the blower body and the reinforcements it's all the details in the manufacturing that give this the heavy construction that extra weight we think a, a lot better quality as far as the overall design we talk about this blower being over engineered over built a good place to look is the auger it certainly is the case here heaviest auger in the industry has a real tight spiral so there's more metal there it's a full 16 inches if you zoom in close here you can see how tight the webbing is how thick that is we got gussets on the side as you can see right through here very strong auger a lot of models out there are chain drive that means they run a hydraulic fan and then a shaft and they run a chain and sprocket on the auger that means if you catch anything in the auger, not if, but when, you're going to have a shear pin protection. Well, you can imagine out there in the cold and snow trying to mess with gloves and get that shear pin back in. With the direct drive auger that we have, it's a built-in pressure relief. So if you hit something, the pressure spikes, oil bypasses the motor, it's a fail-safe, it's easier, it's more reliable and best of all there's no maintenance on it. The most critical area on a snowblower is the fan or the impeller. The fan of course is a direct drive, it's a high-end Eaton Charlin pump. We built it very strong, overbuilt it, but again we'd rather be safe than sorry. If you zoom in you can see how these oversized paddles, they're 3 8 inches thick, paddles are almost 7 inches deep and they're a cupped paddle heavily reinforced with gusseted all the way around a nice core reinforcement here the wrapper that the fan goes around all very heavy duty another critical area in the snowblower is the chute we make a very wide you can see fluted chute to help get that snow up and out with the least amount of resistance possible everything on this blower is hydraulic and that includes the chute rotation and the cylinder on the deflector. It's key that it's a hydraulic function. A lot of them out there are electric actuator. They got this smaller electric motor that's having to twist that chute and turn the deflector. Besides not being very reliable, they can get salt and moisture in the motors, they can quit working. They're very low in torque, which means you're very likely to freeze the chute and have problems with rotation. The hydraulic direct drive Eaton motor that turns that chute, again, it's probably a little overkill, but you know it's going to work when you need it. Another neat feature is our no freeze up chute design. In between the metal chute body and the metal blower, we've got a poly shim, a bushing, that we put in. So not only is it non stick, no freeze up, but it helps to self-lubricate as that chute turns on that. So again, a good feature between that no freeze design and the direct drive hydraulic rotation, you'll never have any issues no matter what the conditions with freeze up on the chute. Another area that our blower is real strong is the frame. A lot of blowers now, they're cutting back the side plates, they're cutting the tops back, all in an effort to save steel and save costs. Well, with us, we don't want to spare any expense. If you notice, we got the full side plates, very heavy. But better yet, our side plates extend out past the auger. If you can see here, you can't see any of the auger. It's completely enclosed in the body of the blower. A lot of them out there, the sides are cut back so far that the blower or the auger is what leads with the blower. So if you're driving into a curb or manhole cover, whatever you could imagine, the auger is going to hit it first. And that's something we definitely want to avoid. Again, when we look at the frame of our blower, very heavy. You can see we've got gussets here 
all the way across, both lateral and horizontal. Very strong frame for pushing into big drifts and heavy snow. Another really unique feature on our snowblower, we've got four skid shoes. We've got the side skid runners, you can see here, and we've got the oversized rear skid shoes, two there, two on the other side. Real big advantage for snow contractors or guys that are going from pavement to asphalt to gravel, and they gotta keep that blower up. Gives you a tremendous amount of adjustability. This rear skid shoe is especially innovative in that it's got a big curve to it. It's a full eight inches long and three inches wide, so a ton of surface area. And you can roll that blower as you're going back and forth to get that height just right and either put that cutting edge right on the ground to get real close, or if, say, you're going on gravel, you can roll it back and be, leave a little space of snow between the gravel and where that cutting edge is going. Another nice feature is protected hose routing. Here's the protected valve block and hose routing. this cover here. Here's the valve block, all your hoses, solenoids, all the fragile parts of the blower are covered and protected. Just another unique feature to our blower. Well, it's March in the upper Midwest couldn't tell by looking around. We had a heavy spring snowstorm. Well, that's about as tough as conditions as you could imagine. Heavy wet snow, gets cold at night, freezes, hard packed frozen snow. We're going to take the blower out in about the worst conditions possible and see how well it works. It should be a good test.